Welcome to Artbeat. I'm your host, Elaine Stevens, and as you know, art is the heartbeat of South Mississippi. Today, we are on the streets of Ocean Springs once again, and we're visiting an exciting place called Studio Works, where you're going to get to create your own art. So stay with us. We'll be right back right after this message. In case you have just tuned in, we are at Studio Works this week with Artbeat and the new owner-operator, Gene Coleman. Gene is a famous byline writer here on many publications, and we see you in the Sun Herald and Beach Boulevard and right. now the Coast Observer, I think. Right. Also, he's a musician, so you see his artistic talents are very broad, right? <laughs> <laughs> You're too kind. But uh, he called me and he told me about Studio Works, and here we are. Tell us, this is an unusual place a little bit different than most galleries. Yeah, well, we have a retail space, but our primary focus is painting parties, uh, BYOB painting parties, where you can bring your own refreshments and have a good time with your friends and explore your inner artist. That's what we like to do is uh, speak to the beginning artists, the novice, and show them that if you try it, you'd be amazed at what you can do. Well, you know, I think that kind of artistic energy always works better when you're in a group. So if you are just starting out, then you can come here to Studio Works and actually feel supported in your new efforts, right? Right. It's not, um, it's not heavy on the instruction end. We uh -huh. let people do what they want to do. But um, That's exciting. we do guide you through the process. And in the end, everybody has a painting or on a wrapped canvas that's ready to hang that they can take home with them. Now, you're in business with your sister. Right. And uh, Vicki. We're co-owners. Co-owners. And Vicki is an artist. She is. So we're going to meet Vicky in a, a little bit, but um, how did this come about? Where did this idea start? Um, well, it's a very popular thing right now, the painting parties. Like the cocktails and canvas, or canvas and cocktail things, right? Right, yeah. right. Uh, uh, women especially enjoy doing this. Uh, we have large groups come by and they just have a great time. It's, it's to get time us to out of the house and away from you guys, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> we, we had some, uh, some guys have come and enjoy, they like painting the uh, sea life, the fish, and, and things sure. like that. Yeah. Well, the wonderful thing about Studio Works here at 432 Porter Avenue in Ocean Springs is there's an array of gift items here, not just the, the uh, ability to create your own artwork, but there's art already here for you to purchase, and we're going to take a whole bunch of looks at all of that in a little bit, but let me know uh, what you do exactly here. I know that, I, I'm, you know, I see you as an artist and a writer because we've been friends for a while, right. but so what part do you play as, as far as the creation part of it? Uh, as far as the creating the art, uh -huh. I haven't delved into that yet. Okay, then. See, we've got to come back here to Studio Works and see some of Gene's stuff, because you see his work in the paper, but now we've got to see it on canvas. I do paint a little bit on the side. Of I, course you do. I did our <laughs> CD cover and stuff like that, but yeah. uh, my sister did all these that, were, that people are allowed to choose from any painting they like to do, you know, and uh, she did all these that we have right now. Well, tell us now, we, while I have you here, we have a captive audience. Tell us about the band. Oh, the band. Yeah. One-Eyed Monkey. <laughs> One-Eyed Monkey. How's that for a name? One-Eyed Monkey, just last month, or about a month ago, got back together with the original lineup, the original vision we had for it. And we'll be playing August 21st at Porter Avenue Bistro as part of the Leo Bash. Which is right across the street. Right. My favorite place. And uh, it's going to be a good time. Yeah, it is going to be a good time. I tell you what, what, what I'm so fascinated about on Artbeat is when you meet someone like Gene, you know, they're just not one-dimensional. And we have so many people like that here in South Mississippi, which is why it's such a pleasure to do a show like this with Studio Works and other galleries that are popping up all over the South Mississippi area. So right. we wish you much luck. We're going to go inside and take a look at a group that's painting their own art. Stay with us. We'll be right back right after this. Welcome back to Artbeat. We are at Studio Works in Ocean Springs at 432 Porter Avenue with Gene Coleman and his sis sister Vicki Doucette. It's such a pleasure to see the store finally open. There was a few it delays is. as I understand mm -hmm. it. And what a great space it is. The lighting is wonderful for you. How do you feel about being here and finally open? We love it. <laughs> We're having a great time. We're um, having people coming in for parties and painting and just really enjoying yeah, it. Yeah, you were telling me earlier about the birthday party that you had uh, earlier mm -hmm. this week or last just week. Just past Saturday, mm -hmm. had a group of um, ladies come in for a, a co-worker's birthday and, and they brought fancy little cupcakes and, and just had a great time painting. So you see, you can come in and bring your own refreshments and Vicki and Jean will guide you through this artistic process like they are today. There's a fam tour in town from some of our people that work at the different visitor centers here mm -hmm. on the Gulf Coast and they're actually learning how to paint gourds. Yes. So what was your first instruction to them when they first started with this? 
Our first instruction, we just began with simple brush strokes, painting our daisies, and we're just doing the, the pattern around. And, and we try to pick things that are just simple, just easy brush strokes to accomplish, and, and yet gives you an introduction to painting. Of course, this lady over here has the floor de lis She has a, a little bit of a different thing going on, and it's quite beautiful. She asked earlier what she needed to put on there, and I told her Drew Brees, but he's going to be available <laughs> later on, I think, in the season. So at any rate, uh, Vicki, I mean, they do more than just the gourds, obviously. We do canvases here and yes, other things. Yes, we do lots of the canvases like you see on the uh -huh. walls behind us. Ordinarily, a party coming in, like say for a birthday party, would pick up print that they wanted to paint right. and the whole group would paint that. We would go through step by step giving instruction and, and the whole group would complete it. And it's very interesting to see while there's a, a likeness, people have their own style still. Of course. You know, their own brush stroke. People use more paint, less paint, you know, rougher edges, smoother edges, you know, it's just really interesting to see the finished product. Now, as are these predominantly group. adults that come in? Or is it we, a variety of ages? We do have mostly adults, but we also offer children's classes. We are doing a kids camp this week also, so we've had them in doing some painting and lots of different fun projects. They will actually be in this afternoon doing um, gourd people. So gourd we'll be people. taking some little bottle gourds and they'll be making little creatures out of them. So well, that sort of like the ones fun. we saw outside, mm -hmm. similar sort to those. Sort of like out in the patio. Right. Out front. Well, now you've been an artist for quite some time. Where were you trained? Where were you educated? I am mostly self-taught. I just really? have been painting most of my life and just something that um, I know we have lots of artists in my family so I guess there's just some of that natural ability there but I do believe it's something that anybody can learn. Well that's but. so hopeful because most of us that think that we can't do this can come here to Studio Works and actually mm -hmm. learn right here on the spot. Now how long does a class last usually? A class is normally about two hours. Our board classes go a little bit faster but an, mm -hmm. an average class runs around two hours. Well, great. I, I encourage you to come here. Now, do they get a choice of what materials they want to paint on, or do you sort yes, of guide when you, them with that? Yes, when you book it. Now, we have open parties that we schedule, so we may have a gourd class scheduled like on a Wednesday night at mm -hmm. 6.30. So on that particular night, you would be painting gourds. Other nights, we will have this painting scheduled. If you're scheduling a private party, you just request which project you would like to have from our gallery on our website. So now how do that, give, give me your website. It's www.studioworks, works spelled W-R-X dot com. Dot com. And mm -hmm. the hours of operation, is that pretty open for the party giver or how does that our work? Our store is open um, Tuesday through Saturday, 10 to 5 and 10 to 4 on Saturday. Um, but as far as the parties, we have our calendar posted on the website, and when you see open times, then we're available. So you're pretty to, flexible we're in pretty that. We're pretty flexible in, in booking in, that. In booking now, what how about the, the charge of that? What, how do you how do you our rate classes that out? are thirty five dollars. Um, Very reasonable. And that you do take home your finished canvas, mm -hmm. so a pretty good deal for for what you get two hours of painting and then a ta take home canvas. The private parties we just require a six person minimum. What have you noticed about the adult artist though that comes in and says? I can't, I can't, you know, that would be me. I think um, a lot of them are amazed when they get I finished. Bet. I bet, I bet they are. How you good know? their product, you know, the finished painting yeah. looks. So, and what they've been able to, to create. So all those childhood things, those insults that came from mm -hmm. way back in junior high school when I was making a puppet and they told me it was horrible. I should come in here you should and start come again. Start again, right. <laughs> Forget that. Throw it out. All right. Well, we're going to talk to some of the people that are enjoying Studio Works right after this message. Do stay with us. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm. Welcome back to Art Beat. We are totally engrossed here at Studio Works with some new and budding artists that say they have never done this kind of work before. Welcome Bobby Tate from Hancock County. Thank you for addressing the issue of your new artwork. Thank you. <laughs> so how do you feel about this floor de lis Let's take a look at it. She says she's never done this before. I have never ever really sat down and, and uh, did any artwork like this, but it really doesn't look bad. I, we had a wonderful teacher here that just told me what I needed to do and I just moved forward with that and you know and as you can see I am a Saints fan. But, um, <laughs> yes you are. <laughs> yes, um, but it's um, it's, 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 it's wonderful. Relaxing. I mean, it's, yeah. Yes, it's, it's nice, it's relaxing and I, I, I think it's going to look great. I, I really do. I'm, so when you go back to Hancock County what will you tell the folks there because that's quite an art community there as well. Exactly, but I'm going to tell them that anybody can be, be an artist in Ocean Springs. Just come over to Ocean Springs and uh, just 
come over and, and start painting. Wow. And it, well, it, I think it's fabulous. Where, where, what are you going to do with it now after you get it done? You know what I'm going to do? I, I am with the, um, the Welcome Center. I'm, I'm going to put it on display for a little bit so that people know where uh, it came from. Yeah. That, um, well, that's great. Bobby. That we were in Ocean Springs and that I can paint a little bit, but hopefully some of the other ladies will put theirs on display with me. And I'm going to let them decide who is the best artist. I, well, I'm I, sure it, it won't be me, but I, I, I think I did a wonderful job. I think job. you did a wonderful job, and I think the fact that you say it's wonderful is fantastic. Right, because I didn't think I could paint. I really, <laughs> I, I really and truly didn't think that I, I mean, could I do this. I think it's out of sight. It's really but great. It's, yeah, it's, it's better than what I expected. So just think, when you go mm -hmm. to Hancock County and go to the Visitor Center there, you're going to see the original works of Bobby Tate, thanks to the work of Studio Works here in Ocean Springs. So we're going to talk to a couple of more folks, okay? Okay. All right. Thank you. Well, I was quite taken with the color of this particular gourd and the way you did the pupil of the daisy, Linda. <laughs> well, it looks like you have done this before. I've, I've painted dabbling like this. Uh -huh. I have never really painted anything. I, I think the last thing I painted was a, another type of birdhouse, and, I did, and right. I did a flower on that, and it didn't turn out as well. Um, these were supposed to be daisies. I'm not sure they're daisies, but they're... They look flowery. Anyway. They do. They, you know, they <laughs> look like some of the beautiful flowers that grow along the marshes of our wonderful well, coast. Well, good. Well, well, good. How then about I didn't that do one? That. Then I didn't Does do that, that badly. Good? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, has, is this the first time you've ever done anything of this nature? It is. I, I really am not uh, a painter, and uh, but it's fun. It, it is, is fun, fun to do. Bobby said it was relaxing. It's, it is, and uh, and really coming here, she's made it very clear that she's not expecting it to be a carbon copy of what she's showing us. She sure. wants us to use our own creativity, and that's what makes it a lot of fun. Well, you know, as you look around here at, here at Studio Works in Ocean Springs, you'll see a variety of colors, a variety of styles. We're going to interview even more people, but you know, it's so exciting to see this. Now, what will it influence you to do here to four? Do you think? Do you think you'll take up some form of artwork or? Uh, well, it makes me feel like I, I can maybe do this. I love I don't, that. But I don't know. I just, um, I might have to do some more practice. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, doing it is practice. So. That's very true. That's <laughs> very true. Now, Linda's in Jackson County. Bobby was from Hancock County. So there's a broad range of artists from coastline to coastline. I keep saying that here in South Mississippi. And we that, well, that is true. And there's inspiration here. There's Absolutely. inspiration here. Absolutely. So you're going to hang this at the Welcome Center also? I don't know that I'm that brave. I always think they're <laughs> hanging it at my house. <laughs> well, thank you. We're going to interview a couple more people, so stay with us. Well, Linda, your gourd looks quite autumnal, so you could use it as a centerpiece for Thanksgiving. What do you Ooh, think? I could. I had to have <laughs> How about that? I really love the colors oh, that you're using. Good. Yeah. Well, yours and Linda's are similar in that the, the pupil of the flower it has the orange and yellow contrast. But mm -hmm. tell me why you chose those particular colors for the little green things on the side. Do you like Well, that? my instructor thought it would be neat, and it looks good on this color gourd. Now, it's yeah, it bright, does. and I like the colors. It does. Um, now, have you ever done this before? No. You have never done no, this either. But it's a lot of fun. Will you come back? Yes, I will. What will you tell people at the Welcome Center now when they say, well, like Bobby's very courageous, she's going to hang her gourd in Hancock County? Well, I think I'm going to take mine to the Welcome Center, too. Oh, that's great. It would be great for people to see there's other things to do on the coast. You know, if they want something different and unique, this is definitely it. It certainly is. It certainly is. And it's a great place to bring children. It is. And people Wonderful. of all ages can come here and, and paint and right. create their own canvases or gourds. Or so. many other things. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I am so impressed. Cindy came all the way from Pearl River County to paint gourds in Ocean Springs. <laughs> so how are you enjoying this? Right now we're at Hancock County Welcome Center because our center is closed for renovations oh, right uh -huh. now. They're working on the parking lot right now at our Welcome Center. So hopefully when we get back into our Welcome Center, then we'll be back there. But And will you be showing off your artwork there? Well, we'll still be at Hancock for a while, so I guess we'll show it off at Hancock for a while and then show it off at Pearl River County. Now, of course, you're in the middle of an art community in Hancock County, but have you ever done this before? Have you ever done anything no. like this? Mm -mm. First no. time, huh? Yeah. How do you feel about it? I'm not sure. <laughs> Well, you know what? I think that your colors are beautiful. I love the pinks and the greens, and I think that you have talent. 
Of course, I think all the ladies here have talent. Yeah. This is studio works in Ocean Springs, and I'm telling you, you can come here and have a really good time. So, is it as relaxing as the other two ladies said it was? Oh yeah, <laughs> absolutely, yeah. huh? Yeah, kind of zone out, right? Yeah. You, well, you just get into what you're doing, and everything else kind of just disappears in the background. So it's beautiful. You do great work. So. Thank you. Well, Brenda's uh, work caught my eye right away because it matches your shirt. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, was that purposely selected that way? No. Um, I'm doing this for my granddaughter who is going to be born Friday, and her name oh. is Daisy. Oh, her and name so, is Daisy. Her name is Daisy. And, uh, so I, it just fell into place today. Our theme is Daisies. And well, I have to say that you you're really have a good eye because oh, these you. are very proportionate and must, you must have done this before and the shading is quite remarkable. I've done a little art, no, not too much shows. like this, and I've, I used to decorate cakes. Oh, well, there you go. She used to decorate cakes. So now uh, you're at the Pearl River County Welcome mm -hmm. Center, too, and I, uh, temporarily being uh, at the Hancock County. So you will hang your gourd there or give it to your granddaughter soon, probably. Well, I'll probably let them hang it for a little while. And <laughs> That's mighty kind of you. Be. <laughs> but then I'll put it in her room. Oh, good. Well, I, I don't know if you can see this, but uh, Brenda is also wearing daisies around her neck. Oh, so this, even... yeah, it's really quite lovely. So it sort of matches. So you're, are you enjoying this? I am. This is fun. Will you do it I again? Love this kind of thing. Yeah, I would love to. Bring Daisy when she's. I old will. Enough. Absolutely. I sure will. I love Ocean Springs. Absolutely. Well, we hope you stay tuned for more Art Beat. We're going to take a tour of Studio Works with Jean Coleman right after this message. Thanks. Welcome back to Art Beat. If you're watching Art Beat this week, we're at Studio Works in Ocean Springs where you can do more than just paint gourds and canvases. You can actually come here and buy a lot of gift items and t-shirts galore, but unique t-shirts, Gene. What makes these so special? Well, they're all by local artists and their original works. Um, right here we have Ed Albritton who followed some, did some photojournalism with rock bands in the 70s and is licensed to, to reproduce these prints. We have David Bowie right here. We have um, also some of his photography that he does, such as Clapton, Eric Clapton. This was young Bowie though, obviously, right? And, uh, it's a very young some, Bowie. Many years ago. And Gene Simmons. Wow, and the colors he uses are so vivid. He does some enhancement on the computer. Yeah, So uh, it's no, fabulous. no prints are the same. Very good. Well, I was quite drawn, as you know, to the black and white t-shirts that sort of talked about what is going on in the Gulf. Let me reach over here and grab this one in particular. So tell us about this. This is a, another local artist, Corey Wynn, and he did a, two t-shirts for the, in regards to the oil spill. That one says, quote, I'd like my life back. It's a quote from Tony Hayward. And you have your seagull there, dripping with oil. Dripping with oil, and it's absolutely amazing. Uh, th this is gonna be a big seller, I know. And we also currently, have the, what, $15? Uh, those are 20 These are 20 okay. And that is the BP Martini. Oh, wow. <laughs> that, I, I didn't see that one before. That is absolutely wonderful. Yeah. So then he did um, a different look here. It's more like the New Orleans Saints, right? right? The Fleur de Lis. Mardi Gras. Like Mar Mardi Gras. And that's a little unusual. Another. With the Fleur de Lis. With the Fleur de Lis and the Big Eyed Girl. And then we have a Gulfport artist over there do, that does uh, similar work. Right. This is uh, fairly new, uh, just out for a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, Richard Allen Hoff from Gulfport has a series of three of these shirts right now. Oh, really? Does yeah. very good work. He does uh, colored pencil, but he did these black and white for the t shirts. Fantastic array of t shirts. There's also beautiful jewelry, all handcrafted, amazing pottery. And believe me, you can have a ball here at Studio Works. So, Gene, we really appreciate your having us here. Art Beaks are to come back here in a couple of months where we'll see these walls just covered with original works. That's How about great. that? All right. Love we'll having be back, back with more Art Beak right after this. Well, if you are looking for something to do during the dog days of summer here in South Mississippi, you need to come to Studio Works. You can create your own art, and it's innovative, creative, cool as a cucumber, and it's going to be a fun time for all ages. So glad you tuned into Art Beat this week. Please be sure and watch us again next week. We enjoyed having you.